Is this thing on? Welcome back to Big Mouth and fancy seeing you here in June. A very welcome, my friends, and especially my enemies. Come in, sit down, no touching. I don't do the touching. Are you feeling charitable? Please smash the subscribe button and the like button. And please do follow me on Twitter at Movies TV Mad. Exclusive, exclusive, exclusive from the cultured nerd Ben Affleck to get the chance to develop his version of the Batman, which would have featured Deathstroke as well. Of course, this would be part of Zack Snyder's deal with HBO Max. And also, the cultured nerd was feeding us some information the other day, weren't they, in an article about Cyborg getting his own HBO Max streaming series. It looks like the defibrillator, or whatever you call it, has been brought back on Zack Snyder's DCEU. This is very, very, very exciting. So let's give a read to what the cultured nerd are saying. Entertainment exclusive, well, forget that. Exclusive, HBO Max wants Affleck, Leto and Mangiello for an original Batman project. Sources close to the cultured nerd have confirmed that HBO wants Ben Affleck, Jared Leto and Joe Mangiello for an original Batman project. This follows reports last week that AT&T and Warner Media want Affleck to return as the Cape Crusader. Affleck is also in talks to return to the director's chair and adapt his original script with Zack Snyder producing. The return of Affleck's Batman will either be a mini-series or, <coughs> excuse me, or a DC film on HBO Max. As Warner Brothers is committed to Matt Reeves' The Batman trilogy in theatres, Affleck's project will likely follow the intended storyline teased by post credit scene of Justice League, or Zack Snyder's Justice League, basically. And this is what Mangiello said, actually, a few um, weeks ago, actually, when, when Justice League was announced um, to be on HBO Max. The original end credit scene, quote tweeting, Zack Snyder re will release the Snyder Cut on Justice League of Justice League on HBO Max. So basically, the original end credit scene. So it looks like everyone, actually, there's a bit more down here. From what we have heard in the past, Affleck's original, the Batman script, featured Arkham Asylum, Joker, Deathstroke, and more of Batman's rogue gallery. If Affleck is back back in the cow, then getting Leto and Manginello to reprise their roles of Joker and Destro, respectively, would be key. The DC Extended Universe is branching out to multiple mediums, from feature films, television miniseries, animated series, and to comics. We can, we can and we will have more than one interpretation of Batman at the same time. It will work. The audience is smart enough to grasp the multiverse. And we are ready for it. But this is exactly what I've been saying about Superman. J.J. Abrams' version cinematically and Henry Cavill's version on HBO Max. With, Zach's, uh, with Zack Snyder's Justice League coming out in 2021. News of Henry Cavill closing in on a new Superman contract. And talks of Ray Fisher getting a cyborg HBO Max series. A return of Batfleet would be the next domino to fall from the return of the Snyderverse in the extended DC Universe. In the DC Extended Universe, wow. And this is so exciting. Now, to be clear here, the cultured nerd are, I think, fans of Zack Snyder. Um, and I, I think that's, I think it's, it's, is it the light cast? I forgot what their name is now. Um, and they're, they're Snyder fans as well. But they seem to be talking about things and getting a lot of things right. So this is really, really exciting as well. And there's more news, actually, that, um, and I think I've mentioned this before, that the Ultimate Edition of BVS will be coming to HBO Max, as will Man of Steel. These are all really exciting things. But this news that Ben Affleck will absolutely get to do either a streaming, straight-to-streaming TV series or HBO Max movie with his original vision for his Batman movie in mind, um, just it just blows your mind, doesn't it? It really does. Just imagine it. And I think, as they said on The Cultured Nerd, there's, there's room for all of these visions. You know, I've always said that I never believed that um, Snyder's um, DCEU was Earth-1. I think it's another Earth. That's why it's a little bit different and a little bit more out there, right? And, and I think that's perfectly fine. So, again, really, really exciting times if you're a fan of Zack Snyder. I certainly am. I certainly want this. And for HBO Max, this is a... This isn't beyond belief. This, you know, this is just money for them. They've already got a 30 plus million subscribers 
in around in about a week. That's just amazing. And they're just going to get more and more. Now, do I think this will be confirmed anytime soon? Who knows? It is very exciting. Of course, the other kind of access media are not talking about this, but then they wouldn't, would they? It's not hardly something that they'd want or want to push for right now. But it is very exciting. It is something that um, we've been waiting for, dreaming of, as we were fighting for Zack Snyder's Justice League. And as we keep on fighting for David Ayer's Suicide Squad, which I believe and I've heard is a done deal. This is, um, what do I think about this report? I think it's an accurate report. I think, li listen, I don't think Zack Snyder took six months negotiating just Zack Snyder's Justice League to be on HBO Max. I think the Suicide Squad from David Ayer, definitely that was part of the negotiating. And his whole vision, which means his whole arc is going to be implemented here. So you could basically have Ben Affleck's Batman movie or TV series in between maybe after Zack Snyder's Justice League and before Justice League 2 or season 2 of Zack Snyder's Justice League. Whatever way they're going to shoot this out, this is all very, very exciting. Everyone should be excited about this. Who And not just if you don't like Zack Snyder, you should still be excited. Because you've got the cinematic um, vision and then you've got this straight to streaming vision. This is brilliant. And this basically knocks the MCU out of the park because this is really, really ambitious by Warner Media, HBO Max and AT&T. AT I think this is part of the plan. I genuinely don't think this is BS. I really do think this is true. But I want to know what you think on a very exciting afternoon for any DC fan do you believe that Ben Affleck will reprise his role as Batman and do a straight-to-streaming movie or TV show? Can you see Jared Leto being involved in that as well? I was only talking on today's DCEU Daily. That's always been the dream, to see Jared Leto and Ben Affleck on screen together. But first, we must see the um, director's cut, David Ayer's Suicide Squad. That's important first. These things must happen. But it's clear to me the HBO Max is going to be a big place, a big avenue for the DCEU. And that's just great for Zack Snyder and for us, his fans as well. And fans of DC in general, you know, these are really, really exciting times. Comment down below, like, share and subscribe. And I'll be back tomorrow with more DCEU Daily. See you again soon.